So today, I have some exclusive update news that from my knowledge hasn't been posted anywhere as of yet. And it is only a small amount of info, but this is actually pretty good, and a lot of you guys are going to be excited to hear it. But before we do get into today's video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe as we are on the road to 17.2k subscribers. As always, it would be greatly appreciated. The support recently has honestly been insane, so I thank you guys so much for that. Additionally, for those of you guys who want to join my filming crew, make sure to do so by joining my Discord server in the description below in order to have a chance at participating in some of my future videos. And for anyone who has questions on that, make sure to leave them in the comments below, and I will answer to them to the best of my ability but anyways let's get straight into the video all right so recently my discord server a user by the name of small underscore toe actually posted some pretty cool images from some things that a developer actually said in a public server where they actually answered some things regarding the new update and this is actually a pretty new dev as well so a lot of people don't actually know about them but you can clearly tell by the color of their chat that this is them so anyways the first thing that was asked here was are you gonna buy a real brand license to which they said no now this dev is actually a building dev so i don't know entirely if they would know like all the information behind this so i don't think this is like actual official confirmation that greenville will never ever buy brands although it is extremely unlikely yes there is always a possibility that they could partner with like a smaller brand or whatever but at least regarding bigger brands it is extremely unlikely and it's probably something that's never going to happen and this has actually been quite a debated upon topic in the greenville community as of recent as well so it's definitely good to have some more or less like dev confirmation on this next up they actually said the motel is already done i'm just working on other stuff i can't say right now so this is actually the developer who has been working on just buy and the motel building so yeah based on this message it does actually seem like the long-awaited remodel of the motel building has actually been complete and an interesting thing to point out is how they did say that they're working on other stuff but they just can't say so when it comes to that other stuff since they are a building dev it is obviously probably different buildings as to if they will be coming in the next update i have no clue i know though that sometimes developers do work on buildings a few updates in advance so there's definitely a chance they might not be coming but at the same time they could just be being kept secret right now and who knows what you could expect honestly still something to look forward to though knowing that there are other buildings out there that are currently being worked on as buildings in this game do always play a big part into making the map feel more alive i'm just hoping though that with whatever these other buildings actually are they more or less place them on this side of the map behind the dealership because as i've discussed in multiple other videos before this part of the map is extremely empty and just doesn't have enough stuff in it compared to the other side so it'd definitely be nice to have some more stuff down here for once but let me know what you're guessing about that additionally i don't really know the context behind this message per se but they actually said that someone's already doing a rolls which is essentially the short name for rolls royce so it does look like we are going to be getting a fictionalized Rolls Royce coming to the game. I'm not sure if it's going to come next update. I honestly heavily doubt it, but hopefully we'll see something like that soon. I'm honestly very surprised that they're already working on fictional Rolls Royces because although, yeah, it was definitely like a reasonably sized brand compared to the other brands out there, there weren't really much Rolls Royce vehicles. But I mean, to be honest, a lot of the community did seem upset when Rolls Royce was actually removed from the game. So it's not surprising to me at the same time that they are working to get it back super fast. And I'm actually interested to see how they make the design look. And yeah, I'm honestly just super excited to see this. Once again, I don't know if we're going to start seeing leaks for it soon and if it's even going to come out in the next update. Update, but I mean, I guess we can only really see as time goes on. And then finally, they actually asked, are those remodeled buildings or new ones? To which they said both, which, you know, as the message states, on top of the fact that we're going to be getting new buildings, which we have never seen in Greenville before, there are also buildings that are going to be getting remodeled. Now, obviously, out of those, like, remodeled buildings, we know that Just Buy is supposed to get a remodel, and also the motel building, obviously, as I discussed earlier. Apart from that, though, I honestly don't really know what else would be remodeled. Even the motel building, to me, wasn't really that horrible of a model. And I mean, even though, yeah, it's definitely nice that it's getting a remodel, I don't know what else could be since you know for the most part right now every single building in greenville that has an interior already is honestly fine in my opinion if anything i think greenville should start focusing more on buildings that don't have interiors currently especially for buildings like the sahara hub as i feel like something like this could make for an extremely interesting role play at the same time though obviously this is a pretty huge building so it would take a lot of time to make but as long as they turn it into like some sort of interactive job i think it could actually be super cool also in some other news the new toyota camry actually got redesigned headlights as you guys can see the original one actually looked pretty different i can't even lie but with the new one it looks like they've redesigned the headlights even more it's not like a huge difference or anything and it's not game breaking but i mean it's definitely weird to see so one of the trims now actually has a roof without a sunroof fog light and a new grill as guys can see for the different trims here they both look different which is cool to see definitely some nice variation there i think the original issue wasn't that the headlights did look too similar to the camrys but i feel like they might have been too closely resembling to another car out there i don't really know for sure though but that's really the only reasonable explanation i can come up with also doggone posted this now based on this image alone you can't really tell what this is supposed to be at all but thankfully he did provide some context so someone said corvette and then he put an eye emoji which probably indicates that this is what it is and then underneath that he also said an american sports car now although that doesn't really confirm that it's going to be a corvette those are some pretty big hints and i mean i'm pretty sure he wouldn't have gone that far to put eye emojis like that if that's not what it is otherwise you know that's probably going to cause quite a lot of controversy also some really cool news is that a new car brand is actually planned to be released in greenville so as you guys can see it says so it appears that a new fictional car brand is coming to greenville known as coney and motor company as you guys can see 
the way how we know this is because that the owner of this group actually said we've done it we're being added to greenville and the vehicle that was actually mentioned in the post is this car right here i actually kind of dig this design i'm not gonna lie i like you can't really pinpoint what it reminds me of i feel like it's kind of a mix between like a brz and something else but i mean let me know what you think about it in the comments below there are also some other pretty cool cars from this brand however this is supposedly the first one that we're going to be getting and i'm honestly super excited for it as we have actually gotten like community made fictional cars before but i think as of recent at least this is going to be one of the if not the first one that we get which is quite cool to see and a lot of people have had positive things to say about this so far and personally i am very excited for it but yeah anyways thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you guys did enjoy it once again make sure to leave a like and subscribe we are on the road to 17.2k subscribers and for those of you guys who would like to join my filming crew make sure to do so in the description below in my discord server those of you guys who want to have a chance at participating in some of my future videos also before we do end today's video for those of you guys who are wondering how to join my filming crew since a lot of people get confused with how to do it once you've joined my server and verified your account you simply go over to applications and then you will see right here shards filming crew applications then right here you simply just fill out a few questions which are not very hard whatsoever and honestly it is very easy to pass this application and it will give you guys a super high chance of partaking in some of my future videos and then essentially you just have to wait until your application's read then you can go over to application results and then you will see if you passed here and you know let me know what you guys think about this update information in the comments below honestly pretty interesting stuff as obviously we haven't actually seen this stuff anywhere else and i would like to give huge credit to the guy who actually found these as you know without him we wouldn't have known any of this info and although most of it is stuff that we for the most part already knew it's definitely nice to like have an update on what's actually going on behind the scenes and now knowing that some of the buildings for the update is actually now finished that's definitely a great sign hinting towards a release date pretty soon hopefully and yeah this is easily looking to be one of the biggest updates that we've gotten in a while obviously it has taken quite a while for this update to come out but with more and more news coming out on it every single day it's looking more and more promising and there is some really exciting stuff to look forward to and i'm really hoping this update comes out sometime soon mainly because it has gotten to the point now where we have gotten so much information to the point where i honestly feel like they could get an update out at this point and a lot of this new stuff that they're announcing i feel like they could honestly save for a different update but i mean then again they could easily just be stacking stuff up for future updates as well so then they can keep up with a consistent update schedule after this one but honestly though who really knows at this point either way i'm just happy that there is actually stuff coming out and that greenville is actually being more transparent with update related stuff but anyways thank you guys so much for watching this video and i'll see you guys in the next one